Okay, so today we're looking at order of operations and in maths, it can become quite confusing when you have an equation like this and you've got multiple operations going on. As you can see, we've got a minus and we've got a multiply. And actually the question might you might ask is, which one of these do we do first? Because if you do the minus first, there's so the subtraction, then you'll get 17 multiplied by four. And if you instead do the multiplication first and you do three times four and you get 20 minus 12. And you can see that these are two very different answers. And so which one of these is actually correct? Well, thankfully in maths, we do have an established system for working out in which order operations should be done when you have multiple operations like this. So that is called BODMAS and essentially it's an acronym which lays out which order to do the operations in. So the first one that you're going to do is brackets. So this basically when you're going down, it goes down in priority. So the first one you can see is brackets. So anything in brackets is what you do first. So if you have an equation like this, two times three, plus six, then the idea is that the very first thing you do is your brackets, okay? The next one is orders or orders or powers, some people call them, or indices. And essentially that is basically if you have two cubed plus six, then the idea is that you do the two cubed first because it's a cube. So before you add six to the two, cube it, okay? If you have division, I'm sure we're all familiar with division. So if you have something like three divided by two plus five, then we do the division first. If you had multiplication, three times two plus six, then we do the multiplication first. The last two are addition and subtraction, so they take place last. So if you had three plus two multiplied by three, then essentially you do the multiplication first and then your addition and the same thing for subtraction, same kind of idea, okay? Do that first and then your subtraction. One important thing to note is actually, even though we write it in this order, the division and the multiplication and the addition and the subtraction can be interchangeable. And actually, if you have a division and a multiplication together, so something like this, three times four divided by two, then the order you do it on depends on the order that they come in the operation or in your equation. So here, because we have three times four divided by two, because the multiplication comes first, then you do the multiplication first. So this should be 12 divided by two, which will give you six. You can see if you do it the other way around, and if you do three times four divided by two, so you do four divided by two first, then you get three times two, which will also give you six. So in this case, it works both ways. But generally speaking, when you have division and multiplication together, then it depends on actually the order they come in the equation, okay? And the same thing can be said for addition and subtraction. So it could be actually that it could be subtraction first, then addition. So you could do three plus six minus seven. And so in this case, because the addition comes first, we do the addition first. Uh, normally this doesn't make a difference. For definitely for multiplication and division, it can make a difference. So it's important to remember that rule. Okay, so let's go into some questions now so we can practice some of this. So we've got a practice question here for you guys. We've got three plus two to the power of two top multiplied by three plus six divided by three. So let's have a go at this. So three plus two is in brackets. So we're going to do that one first. Remember brackets is first. So that comes up to five. So five squared multiplied by three plus six divided by three. Uh, the next thing is in our order is the powers or the orders or the indices. And so you can see five to the power of two. So you're going to do that one next. So that's five times five gives you 25 multiplied by three plus six divided by three. The next one in our order of priority is the division and multiplication. Remember that's interchangeable. And so generally the thing that comes first in our equation is what we do. So 25 multiplied by three is what we're going to do first because it comes, when we're reading it left to right, it comes first. So 25 times three is 75. And then we'll do six divided by three because in this case you can do it concurrently, it doesn't make a difference. So six divided by three is two. Okay, so you could do it in two steps or we'll just combine it here. But remember, we need to do leave the addition to last because that is last in our priority in this case. So 75 plus two should give you 77. Okay, so hopefully um, that one makes sense. And now I'll give you guys some questions for you to have a go out on your own. So these are the quiz questions. There's actually 10 questions, so let's scroll. So feel free to pause the video, have a go, then come back and we'll go through the answers. Okay, so welcome back. So let's go through question one, first of all. So we got six plus two multiplied by four divided by two. Well, the thing in the brackets is what we should do first. So hopefully everyone got that. So that is just gonna be equal to two. And then essentially you've got six plus two times by the thing in brackets. So that's multiplication next. So two times two gives you four. So we just write it over here, six plus four. And then you therefore you should get 10, okay? Because the addition is the last, last thing left and the last thing we're going to do. The next one, we've got eight minus three multiplied by two plus seven. So once again, the thing in brackets is what we want to do first. The thing in brackets in this case comes to eight, eight minus three, sorry, comes to five, eight minus three multiplied by two plus seven. So you're going to do the multiplication next. So that's 10. And then you add the whole thing to seven. Okay. So you should get 17 for that one. And it went off the page where you can see it there. Okay. Question number three, 15 divided by three plus two multiplied by four. So three plus two is five. And so you've got 15 divided by five multiplied by four. So in this case,
case, uh, the rule we spoke about earlier is really important. Because the division comes first, we're going to do the division first. So 15 divided by 5 comes out to 3. And then 3 multiplied by 4 comes out to 12. Okay, next one then, 7 times 2 plus 4 minus 3. So 2 plus 4 is 6. Then we multiply by the 7 to get 14. And then we do 14 minus 3. 7 times 6 gives you 42. And then 42 minus the 3 should give you a total of 39. 10 divided by 2 plus 6 minus 3 multiplied by 5. So we've got two brackets. So we're going to do whatever is in both of these brackets first. So 10 divided by 2 first will give you 5. 5 plus something. So where is in this bracket? So 6 minus 3 will give you 3 multiplied by 5. And then multiplication is next. So 3 times 5 first, that gives you 15. So this is 5 plus 15 which comes out to 20 because you do the addition. Last, question 6, 9 minus 2 plus 1 multiplied by 3. 2 plus 1 is 3 multiplied by 3 uh, because you do the multiplication next. So that comes out to 9. And then essentially what you have is 9 minus 9, which gives you 0. 5 times 4 divided by 2 plus 1. So in the brackets, it's 3. 4 divided by 3 and then 5 times 4 first. So 5 times 4, because the multiplication comes first, we do it before the division. And so we have 20 divided by 3 and we'll leave that in a fraction like that and 12 minus 5 times 3 plus 6 divided by 2 so 12 minus 5 is going to be 8 8 times 3 plus 6 over 2 and uh, so the 8 times 3 comes out to 24 and 24 plus the 6 divided by 2 comes out to 3 and you do the addition final finally so that comes out to 27 16 divided by 4 plus 5 minus 2 times 6 so in the brackets is 5 minus 2 which is 3 3 multiplied by 6 and 16 divided by 4 you can see we're going to do the division and the multiplication before we add so 16 over 4 comes out to 4 uh, and that's added to 3 times 6 which comes out to 18 and so that is 22 because you do the addition last and the final question, 10 plus root 64 multiplied by 2, or 10 plus the square root of 64 multiplied by 2. And so one thing here is 64, or well the square root of 64 can be written out as a number with a power. Okay, so the square root of 64 is equal to 64 to the power of a half. So if you didn't know that, that's essentially how you can write a square root as a power, and it's another form. And so actually what we have here is a power, so that impacts the order we do our operations in. If we rewrite this, you get something like this, multiplied by 2 equals 1. And so according to our order of operations, the thing that takes priority here is a 64 to the power of a half or the square root of 64, which is 8. So you have 8 multiplied by 2 uh, plus 10. And the next one then is going to be the 8 times 2. So this comes out to 10 plus 16, which should just give you 26. So those are all the answers. And hopefully you guys got all of those correct. And I'll see you in the next one.